Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. This is Galita. And we are now ready for the inner world piece of this cycle. And something is already changing. I have the feeling that there is some kind of um, ask of us to move a little bit into the joyful part of sharing collective uh, prayer for the world. Uh, maybe it's because of spring, maybe because we are just moving now up. Um, so when we started, there was a little bit, I mean, I felt that there was a little bit of heaviness and worry about the world and where things are going. Still, not everything is perfect, but there is a, another kind of momentum. So I thought today that we will work on the singing and maybe that I can show you the singing for healing which is kind of different than singing for pop idol or something like that. And it's very beneficial and it's very wonderful. So when you're going to do the inner world piece and singing the Kaponopono mantra, maybe you're really going to sing and enjoy it more and practice a little bit more. So this is one thing that comes. And the other thing that comes is that there is a need again to sing in group, to sing together, to sing uh, live. Uh, with each other. So I think I would like to go back to doing events that's around the singing. Um, so if you're feeling it, let me know and uh, join us in uh, putting it together. All right. So singing for healing. What is it? Mm, basically singing. But it's singing that is generating expansion, not only for beauty or productions of good sound or performance, but it is enhancing your own health and your own intentions. And of course, like with everything I do, it works on the four voices. So it works on spirit, mind, heart, and body. Um, and the first thing what you need to do is to drink water, warm water or tea. Mm -hmm. Because you want to be rehydrated. So I will give a little bit here something that we can do. And if you want more of it, just let me know. Most important, that you are aware about your physical body. That's your instrument. So when you are connected to your physical body, it means how your posture and your breath and everything from your skin to your bones to how your lungs feel and how your uh, breath is going all the way down, the muscles of your stomach, your diaphragm, all of this bit. That's one. The other thing is that we are connecting to the to the intention, to the to the reason why we are singing. So we are today focusing on inner world peace, but we have to start with ourselves. And especially in this cycle, I would like you to really focus on yourself. And then will spread it to the world, but the intention will be is that you take care, especially in the, in the weeks that's coming, the next two weeks that's coming, um, understand that all of the inner processes that you are going through uh, are giving you an opportunity to release some things of the past, from the really, really far past. It's all in our subconscious mind, so you have to have a little bit more compassion for yourself, and more patience, and more breathing, and hopefully more singing. And later when we're going to sing together the inner world peace, um, Pono mantra, I hope you're going to sing more. Uh, I, never, I never gave you a, a lesson of how to sing it, but maybe today we'll touch on that. So first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to notice your body. Let's do, let's do a little bit. Oh, I love to do this exercise. Let's just activate your healing powers in your hands. So activating your face your voice and put it on your lungs for a second just invite them to come in to you feel your hands feel your lungs feel your skin getting warm activate your hands again and let's brush from the top of our head to the neck to our kidneys it's better to stand if we were in a workshop, we will stand and move and everything. But let's do it like this. Warm up your kidneys and then bring it along your legs all the way to the floor. We'll do again, activating your hands, 
or body awareness. And you want to tap on your face here. Wow. So your face is your friend. <laughs> the whole face, you have to think about it like the instrument of the guitar. Your mouth is the opening and you want it to the whole space to be spacious because that's where the sound comes from. Ah, also a little bit of face exercises, which also helps us be beautiful. Just activating this chi. Ah, release your jaw. And you have to play. Because if you're going to be too serious, oh my God, that's not going to flow. So uh, we're going to do our ears and then let it flow. It's a little bit lympho cleaning. Okay, we can do a whole hour of, of this warm-up, but I would like to get us to the next level. So we kind of feel our body. Wait a second, I feel there is another place we didn't activate one more. And I want you to go into your um, neck and massage here. One squeeze, two squeeze, three squeeze, and now bring it above. Flow. And again, flow. Flow. So we want to move our chi in our body, which is the energy uh, and connect to our physical body because that's the instrument. Wow, wow, wow. We cannot do anything without your physical instrument. So that's the good stuff about having a body in this world. Okay, second thing. We want to have our intention. So close your eyes for a second. So we are all, everyone who's watching it and joining us, we are connected to this wish to see the elevation of humanity and the earth and to spread love and compassion and creativity and to make this world sparkle and every person empowered and every animal respected and every piece of earth honored and enjoyed. This is our big inner world peace intention. That's great. This is there. It's good. From there, let's go into your closer part of your world. And look around your life. So it is the people around you, uh, where you live. And we want to have peace and joy and connection and healthy communication and healthy boundaries between all of the people that are around your life, around your extended family, at work, friends, social life, all of that. That's the second blessing that we are doing. But today we are want to focus so from your, your family and your social life. I want you to come even closer into your really, really close family. The few people that are really, really close to you, even if they're not alive or even if they are not next to you geographically. And then from there, I want you to come to yourself. Because this activating our singing for healing is for you today. So just feel yourself. You can put your right hand on your heart and your other hand on your center, which is under your navel. And then just feel yourself landing in your body. So our intention is to sing the Aponopono mantra and from one hand let the old and the disappointment and the fear and the programming and all of these things sink down and be sucked by the earth and clean you up like a hoover. And from the other hand, this is unconditional love and light to come to you. Yes, you deserve that, my darling. That's how you make the world a better place. You bring more light into your body. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Take one more breath. Now, talking about intention, notice that in the next breath, we are focusing on that this breath want to cover a hundred percent of you feeling that you deserve to receive all of this light to you. And if you are a person on earth, you probably don't feel a hundred percent. So we are putting attention to that, that in the next breath, we are upgrading how many percentage we have, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
to 100% that is pure, unconditional lo love and light that wants to come from your soul and from creation herself is feeling deserved and welcome to come into your system. Can we do that? Yes. So we do one more breath. And allow 100% to come in. Right, that's good. With your other hand, we'll take another breath. Let's take it from around us. And allow that to go and clean yourself also 100%. Put it back into your belly. Okay, so that was just a little bit of preparation for our body awareness. Now, in singing for healing, we'll stop with step one. Step one in my book is the, mm, is the humming because we have to set the stage for vibration to move and healing to occur and love to dance. So we take a breath and you just want to feel that you're allowing your neck to be totally relaxed because there's no big expectation. We are just going to do your lips. We want to have our jaws open like a guitar. Not like this. We're not singing like this. We're singing like this. Actually, your mask should, can be like an a Dumbo person. I set your root. <laughs> and you let your jaw loose. And I said, oh, that's like that. But when you sing, if your neck, if your body, if your jaw is loose, the sound doesn't come only from you, it comes from higher places. So singing for healing, being a sound healer, being a person who wants to sing effortlessly. You have to connect to your both sides. You have to anchor in your body and reach high, and it goes by itself. Yes? So let's take a breath, and then we'll just do the sound of mm, and keep it straight. We're not going down, we're not going up. Yeah? Allow the vibration in your lips to grow. That's the only focus you need to have. That your jaw is loose and your lips are closed so you can vibrate. Let's do that for a while. So we are going to warm up our voice and warm up our connection and instrument. Mm -hmm. It is interesting what happens when things move. So play with it in your, in, when you have more time. Play with it to see what happens when you move your face, to see what happens to the sound, to help you learn so much about your own, your own sound vibration. And it's all about producing frequency. So don't get caught in that you have to sing nice or proper. All of this is flashed down to the earth. <laughs> yeah. All right, we do it again. Try to feel that you can bring your vibration to your forehead. Because when we sing, we have three levels. We have our head, we have our chest, and we have our base. And like in life, it's actually the three centers of consciousness also. Uh, we want to sing with all three, and we want to live with all three. Activate it. Oh, there's a whole philosophy about that, about the three centers. But, okay, so we are now doing the hmm. So we are kind of tuning 
and connecting. And you can do that as long as you want. This is a meditation by itself. And this also will warm up your voice to sing. And this is also will connect you to your own healing just by this little sound of M. Mm. And you want to feel your lips vibrating. So I will encourage you to continue that in your time. Second things I would like to do is, some reason I need to move my nose. Yeah, this is when we want to open the head voice. But before I'm going to do that, I want to open the ha, which is the clunk or the sound or the vowels of the heart. So take one more breath. Uh, and you want to draw. And the feeling is here. So let's tap here a little bit. Remind ourselves this connection. Na. Another one. That is putting us in a heart center. Now there is also the head voice and there is also the the bass voice, but we are going to. Stop here, because I don't want you to fall asleep in case it's not very interesting for you. <laughs> and we are going to go and we do the Haponopono mantra together. So you follow the meditation. We are going to listen to it together uh, and sing together. And the beginning of the, of the, of the song or the mantra is, uh, I am sorry. So allow yourself to... I am sorry, allow yourself in the beginning just to pronounce because you're not doing it for outside reason, you do it for inside reasons and to your own self. So when you sing with me now, with all of us, just go within and just notice that you are, you are loose and that you're letting it happen. And if you have M or Ha or M or Ha or any other vowel, which we'll do another time, just allow it to happen. So there's real relaxation in the Aponopono of this, of this time. And we are doing it in order to spread more inner peace in ourselves and in our surroundings. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope it was not too long. I sometimes forget myself. Um, and now we'll go together to sing the song together. And that will be fun. So let me see how they do that. Yeah, just give me a second. And then we'll go to our Ponopono. And we'll do it together. And yes. Yes. You are welcome to join us in this inner world peace. In this Haponopono mantra, you are going to bring yourself into inner peace and help us all create a beautiful field of light. In this intense but special time, we need to be mindful about how we use our personal power. You have so much power in your mind, in your body, in your heart, and in your spirit. 
and those four voices can help you create the world that you want for yourself. And together we can create the world that we want for ourselves and our children. The first power is the power of your spirit and your intention that you bring into this mantra. Our intention is to create inner peace in ourselves and outside ourselves. Your second voice and power is the power of your mind and the ability to focus and visualize what we are creating. We are focusing on seeing the field of light of people that are joining and lighting themselves up into the same intention. Your third voice is of your physical voice where you bring your body and your singing voice into this mantra to bring yourself the joy and expression that comes with your voice and singing. The last voice is the voice of your feeling heart. You bring your feeling into this mantra so you can expand yourself and share your beauty with us. Take one big breath and allow yourself to feel your body from your toes to your belly to your head. Bring an inner smile on your face. Take another breath. Feel the area of your heart and picture a person a place or an animal that makes you feel love. Take another breath and expand your heart also to the back of your body and know that now with this mantra you're going to expand your love to yourself. In this Haponopono prayer we will use four sentences and you are directing that to yourself as a child. The purpose is to create self-love and self-forgiveness and to bring inner peace. Allow yourself to feel all that you feel and connect to all of us who are just doing the same. So here we go. We connect our inner voice with the intention to create inner peace and world peace. We connect our mind voice to visualize, picture yourself as a child or a person that you love. And allow yourself to see all of the lights of other beings who are doing the same. With your voice you can sing, with no expectation or judgment, just as you are, and with the voice of your heart, you allow yourself to feel. One big breath, and let's start.
Thank you so much. I enjoyed this healing with you. And I hope you're going to have an amazing new moon cycle where you're going to feed yourself better and release yourself from the past and move to the next and sing more. Mm -hmm. Ah, sing, 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 sing. Vibration is good for us. Thank you so much. Kenya Hiratsun.